In this video, we will study the first method of calculating the measure of dispersion that is range. See, range means it is the very simple method. It is the difference between the highest value and the lowest value of the series. Right? So, the absolute Measure of dispersion is range, which is highest value minus lowest value. Whereas the relative measure of dispersion is coefficient of range, which is calculated by highest value of the series minus lowest value of the series divided by highest value plus lowest values so you can find out the range it is very simple and the very easy method of calculating the measures of dispersion so this is simply nothing but the highest value minus the lowest value let's uh, understand with the help of numerical first comes the individual series I will help you to find out the range in case of individual series. Five students obtain marks in statistics that are 20, 35, 25, 30 and 50. Right? So the you have to find out the range and the coefficient of range so range is the highest value minus lowest value the highest value is 35 the lowest value is 15 so 35 minus 15 is equal to 20 so 20 is the range now we have to find out the coefficient of range that is the relative measure of dispersion which is equal to highest value minus lowest value divided by highest value plus lowest value. So 35 minus 15 divided by 35 plus 15 which is 20 divided by 50. So 2 divided by 5 is 0 0.4. So this is your answer. Your range is 20, whereas your coefficient of range is 0 0.4. Now, we will understand how to calculate the range in case of frequency, uh, discrete series or the frequency array. We have the size 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and 18. We have the frequency 1, 13, 24, 14, 15, 13, 16 and 20. Now we have to find out the range and the coefficient of range. See, in this, we won't take frequency highest and lowest. We want the highest and lowest of the series. So, your series is the size. Frequency means how many times the particular number is occurring in the series. The occurrence, whereas this, you take the series, the highest and lowest of the series to calculate the range. So, you will check the highest, which is 18. And the lowest that is 10 so 8 is your range whereas coefficient of range is 18 minus 10 divided by 18 plus 10 so 8 divided by 28 which is 0 0.29 so the, this is how you calculate the range in case of discrete series 
In case of continuous or frequency distribution series, let's understand this is the size 5 to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20, 20 to 25, 25 to 30. This is the class size. This is the frequency. 4, 9, 15, 30 and 40. Now there are two methods. Method 1 is you calculate the midpoints that is 10 plus 5 divided by 2 7.5 17.5 27 point five thirty sorry 12.5 there is a difference of 5 5 so it will be a difference of 5 5 7 point five twelve point five seventeen point five twenty two point five and then twenty seven point five so the highest number here is from the midpoint twenty seven point five and the lowest is seven point five so 27.5 minus 7.5 is equal to 20. So your range is 20. And if you have to find out the coefficient of range, that will be equal to 27.5 minus 7.5 divided by 27.5 plus 7.5 which is 20 divided by 35 is equal to 0.57. Now the other method we can use is method 2. In this what you do, you take the upper class of the last class interval and the lower limit of the first class interval. Highest is 30, lowest is 5, so the range is 25. See the range will differ. But there are two methods you can find out from any method. Coefficient of range. Is equal to. Highest minus lowest. Divide by highest plus lowest. So 25 divided by 35. Which is equal to 0 0.71. So in this way you can find out the coffee, uh, measure of dispersion that is range in case of continuous series either by taking the mid values first calculate the mid value and then find out or you can simply find out by taking the upper limit of the last class and the lower limit of the first class so you can find out the range now let's understand the merits and demerits of range. So merits is simple. It is very simple to calculate the range. It is very easy method. Second is wide application. The range is used very widely. Range is widely used in statistical series relating to quality control in production. So let's suppose you have a manufacturing company and you want to have a quality control check. So you can you so you prepare your control charts, quality control charts on the basis of range. If your quality of goods is within the range prescribed in the charts, then the production process is set to be under control. So this is uh, how the range is used. The merits are unstable. It is an unstable measure of dispersion. It depends upon the extreme values of the series. The first uh, and the, the extreme values which means the highest and the lowest values of the series. So any change in the extreme values may change the range. Not based on all values. See you do not consider all the values. You consider only the highest and the lowest values. No knowledge. of the formation of the series. So range gives no precise knowledge about how the series is being formed. Irrelevant for open-ended 
frequency distribution if you have a open ended frequency distribution that is less than more than then it is irrelevant because you cannot find out the range in that case so i hope you have completely understood range do download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us